Well, hello there, friends. Fantastic show today. I'm going to show you how to make the perfect omelet. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned. We're going to make it right now together. Well, hello there, friends. Let me show you how to make this omelette. By the way, this is not an omelette for one person. Eh? It's at least two or three people. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to make it. It's really cool, fun. Today, we're making it with uh, ham and cheese. You can make it with mushrooms. You can make it with spinach. You can make it with whatever you want, really. It's really the same principle. Um, so, we got a pan going, and uh, we got about uh, 275 degrees right now. So, it's hot, uh, but not too hot. So, it's a uh, medium heat, right? I got eggs. It's a good idea to put <laughs> eggs when you're making an omelet, right? So salt and pepper. Put as much or as little as you want. We're going to mix those guys up with a fork. And we really want to take some time to do this, friends. All right? And I got a few secrets I'm going to share with you. One of them is going to surprise a lot of you. I'm putting extra butter in the egg. Cold butter in the egg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's going to make it even that much, that much special. Let me tell you. Mix it up pretty good, see? Don't be afraid to give it a really, really nice roll here, friends. All right? Really important. Then we're going to put uh, um, a little bit of parsley. I use parsley. You can use whatever herbs it makes you happy. And, friend, this is when we add the cold butter. Cold butter. I got to cut them in little cubes, about an ounce and a half, two ounces, put whatever you want in here. And we take it, and we put it right in here, friends. Put the whole thing in there. Now, remember, the pan is about 250, which is like in a medium heat right now. All right, we're going to go just a little medium, medium high. And now what is very important to do, friends, is to mix, 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 mix. I got a little trick also that I do. I almost forgot. I put a little bit of bubble water. Pellegrino, Perrier, soda water, whatever makes you happy. And what we're going to do, we're going to mix it up. That's going to give us some extra moisture. All right. Now we're creating this small curd. Very, very important, friends. We want to mix, 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 mix. And make sure your heat is not too hot. And mix, mix, mix. You see? Mix, mix, mix. Go all the way around it. I have a spatula, so it makes it easy. And I go around it. You see? Go a little slower. I'm a little fast here. Go all the way around it. And you get to a point where we leave it alone. We leave it alone. We leave it alone. Let's make sure there's not too much liquid anywhere and we're looking good. We clean the side of the pan. And now, friends, we're going to leave it alone. And this is when we're going to put our ham, we're going to put our cheese. If we were to saute some mushrooms, we'll put them on the side to saute some mushrooms, some spinach, some dried tomatoes. You do them on the side, and you put them in again like that in here, just like this. Nothing different. Cut them very small. Then we'll put the cheese in there. Now I'm using cheddar cheese. Oh, turn the heat off, turn the heat off, turn the heat off. I thought I had to turn it off, but I didn't. Turn the heat off. I'm using cheddar cheese. You could use a Swiss cheese. You could use a Gruyere cheese. You could use Brie cheese. You could use goat cheese. Whatever cheese you want, friends. And now, with the remaining, with the remaining heat in a pan, we're going to let all that cook slowly and melt the cheese. And we're going to leave it alone for about three minutes, three to four minutes. We're going to leave it alone, and then we're going to roll it, and we're going to eat it. Really that simple. So I'll come back in about three, four minutes. Okay, friends, about three, four minutes. Let us, you can see all the cheese is melted. And now what we're going to do is we're going to roll it. We're going to roll it. So we tilt the pan a little bit, and we roll it, and it's doing great. You see it's rolling just slowly, slowly, slowly. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Just roll it slowly. You see? Roll it slowly as much as you can. You're going to get to the end. See, just slowly, slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly. Roll as much as you can. 
And then when you get to the end, you just flip a little bit, let it fall, and then what we're going to do, friends, we're going to take the pot, the, the pot, the pot. We're going to take the whole fry pan, and we're going to flip it on its own. And right there, we got a beautiful, beautiful omelet, friends. A little bit of color. Not, you don't want much color first. You don't want the brown omelet, no. That's not what we want, friends. And what we do here, we take a little bit of butter, <laughs> extra butter, rub it on there. Yeah. Yeah, give it a good rub right there. You see? Look how gorgeous that is, right? And then you take a little bit of parsley. And you give it a quick little uh, gentle, like, be elegant, friends. Just think, Dory, you go right there. And then you take a, you remember, a little decoration here. A little bit, friends. Stick it in there. And voila, my friends. You have yourself a beautiful omelet. So now let's look at the inside, friends. Let's go in there. And let's look at the inside. What I do, actually, I'll show you. Actually, here you go. I got some Parmesan over John. You know, I forgot. Normally, I grate a little bit of Parmesan on it. So you know what? Never too late to do good. Where's my cheese grater? Here's the cheese grater. I take a little bit of Reggiano, Parmesan over John. And I grate a little bit of extra on the top, friends, okay? You can never have too much Parmesan over John, right? And you would do a thing, and then you got the... <laughs> You do a thing. Here you go. Right there. You got it, right? Okay, so now, uh, this is, like I said, this is really, friends, for uh, uh, two or three people, right? How do I serve it? I go like this, and I just take it like this, and look at this, friends. Look how beautiful that looks. Let me show you the inside. Look at this. You see the way that looks? It's not dry. It's beautiful. You see, my friend? I hope you can see right there. Hope I'm showing it the right camera, because, you know, I always show the wrong way. I hope you guys can see it. But you know what? It's beautiful. Look at this. It's, uh, it's uh, perfect. I like it just like this. The cheese is melting now. Let me try to a piece so I can eat. Oh, my friend. It's amazing. I hope you make <laughs> Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And by all means, ring that bell. We'll see you in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching.